Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. We're going to be doing a Patreon exclusive right after this one. It's a little bit touchier, uh, so it'll be on Patreon right after this video. As always, want to thank everybody for your support. Couldn't do it without you guys. It has been really heartwarming. Thank you so much. Yes, absolutely. You know, and and it's good to see comments rolling in from different people that we knew were in affected areas. So, you know, people are 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 checking in, so to speak. There's still some that haven't checked in yet. Um, so, you know, again, if you're in the affected area by the hurricane, um, please do drop a comment just so everybody knows that you're safe. U.S. port workers agree to end strike after accepting 62% wage increase. Wow, that's a big increase. I mean, I remember, you know, 3 to 4% was kind of typical in the corporate world. But, yeah, uh, so this strike apparently didn't last too long which is a good thing. There's so much going on right now. Um, you know, there's a lot of people reporting about U.S. military presence in ports, and some people have the belief uh, that the United States Republic is, is being resurrected from USA Inc. Uh, you know, again, um, honestly, we've, we've never gotten anything from the guides that confirm that. If we did, we would share it with you guys. Um, we do know that there are people that believe that wholeheartedly and are counting on that. We, again, uh, tread lightly when it comes to those things. Again, you know, always f feel for discernment and then also feel, is this something that I want to happen or is this something that I really feel is happening? Because, again, a lot of times we, we look for hope in certain spots and sometimes the system will try to foster hope in, sp in certain spots in order to make people complacent uh, and to give false hope. And then just like, again, uh, Charlie Brown going to kick the football, they pull it away right at the last second. So, you know, I, I would again tread lightly on that. Um, we don't really feel uh, we've never gotten inclination um, that there's any uh, geopolitical force that's in existence in the upper echelons uh, of the current structure that truly is working to free humanity. It's got to be humanity that frees humanity. You know, I will continue to stand next to the sentence that says, I will believe it when I see it. I, I've seen no, no reason, absolutely no reason to put any trust in anywhere in the military or any politician or anything uh, and it's been years years so i'll believe it when i see it i'll just leave it there and, and we totally understand that there are those that that do believe that um and you know much love and support to them um it's just um i guess maybe we're a little cynical when it comes to yeah. power structures that are in place in this, you know, that have been in place since uh, the darkest part of the Kali Yuga. Well, yeah, I mean, when as, as soon as we are able to expand, because we know we reach more people than they say, and if we, there are several channels that can go off on certain tangents, but we've kind of been blacklisted, and if we have special people watching us, so if we say just the wrong thing, I mean, we get hammered. We get hammered. We could lose everything so quickly. So I really feel because we touched on those sacred cows that really um, the controllers need, they really need these sacred cows, and we're pointing it out. We're saying, no, that's not a sacred cow. <laughs> Uh, it, it, that's not appreciated and that doesn't help them with their agenda. Yeah, there is an awakening going on. They cannot last um, past a certain point and they know this. So, you know, again, they, they are doing their best to slow the roll, uh, slow the awakening, placate people where they can, give them false hope, uh, you know, like Russell Brand all of a sudden finding, uh, you know, in his mind and heart that the Catholic Church has always been right. 
sure you're gonna go and throw the inquisition away uh you know the witch hunts the extermination of the native american people and all the things that that the catholic church did how about the persecution of the carthars uh, there was a whole bunch of people that were kind of creating a breakaway society in France, uh, you know, that were exterminated, perhaps even as much as a million of them, because they were not going along with, uh, again, the system of which, yes, the Catholic Church has been a big part of the system, but so has that b-i-b-l-e and and so many other things like the works of mao you might as well put that right in there and because again communism comes from the same source when you look at it it was funded by the same banking cabal so again they they give you all the options if it is one of their options then you're still you know looking at the system and as long as they have you in the system they're still in control this, these times are about breaking out of the system. So here you're looking at Singapore, tons of ships backed up there because of Red Sea disruption, because obviously the, the war scenario that's going on, and that is still in play uh, as you have Iran uh, getting some help from Russia when it comes to uh, seeing potential Israeli strikes on Iran. Uh, Iran asked Russia for use of their um, their support from radar perspective and a uh, eyes on the sky perspective. You still have all these people making their way into the U.S. illegally. This is Darien Gap. This is in Panama. They're still coming in in droves from the Middle East primarily at this point in time but they've also come from africa they've come from all over um you know it's interesting too when you look at these middle eastern countries so many of them are coming from middle eastern countries that are aligned with the BRICS nations because this is still in play this and this you know is thanks to the un really when you get down to it yes it is um the left apparently carrying out um, a certain uh, part of the program, but you know, <laughs> the whole 9/11 thing happened with the right in charge. We had eight years of Bush, and and that all happened. You know, putting Homeland Security in place, putting you know that Big Brother government happened under the right's watchful eye. The neocons. You know, there's again uh, two eyes, same head. It's it's the same beast and the world is experiencing no not rapid climate change uh, you know caused by uh your cow farts <laughs> certainly not uh geoengineering again operation popeye it was declassified it was back in the 60s and 70s in vietnam they washed away villages we know this for a fact there's patents going back to weather control uh modification all the way back into the 1890s this is um, at Taiwan, uh, Typhoon Crathen. This has brought a lot of water, wind, and issues. This is all over the place, all over the place, as you see roofs being ripped off. And you wonder, how could we possibly have a mud flood? What happened to what we call Tartaria? You know, what happened to them? Well, you're watching what happened to them. This is part of the program that, that keeps happening time and time and time again. S you got 66 inches of rain over mountainous regions. I saw in the Asheville area, we, we're, we were talking, oh, anywhere from a foot to two feet. This is 66 inches of rain. So what we saw happen in in Asheville is, is again going on all over the place all over the place this is Quito Ecuador uh, you know we're, we're seeing just these look like little matchbox cars but they're not it, it's incredible this person's you know this this channel covers this all the time uh, so you know every single day they're looking at these things globally and this was one of the worst that they've ever seen it, yeah it's it's every continent every continent we're seeing this type of thing look at this sinkhole in pakistan and they got to rescue people up and out of this the car went just straight down 
You, you also have sinkholes like this and, and much bigger happening in Iran, too. It, you know, there is so much more to this planet that we don't understand, including extremely advanced technology uh, that would blow your mind. Now, the, the true upper echelon of the politicians, they understand this. They really do understand it. They, they, some of them get the bigger picture. And they may be left, they may be right. It doesn't really matter because, again, they play a role. As you see a camper going over a waterfall, this was just, this is again with Helene, it, it's still, we, we don't know the big picture, but we do know forecast models are predicting a major rainmaker next week from Tampa to Fort Myers to Miami to Jupiter. This has this GFS model has Tampa getting smacked with double digit tropical rainfall. Look at some 10, 20 inches, 10, one to two. Yeah, this is on top of all the flooding that's happened. Ooh, and Tampa was unexpectedly hard hit. I think a lot of people were thinking, oh, it's going to go way up here. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. And then they were stunned when they saw the level of flooding. Now, at the same time, I'm concerned uh, that some of the mid part of the country might be drying out. Again, we, we were shifting back. We had a very, very brief El Nino, and now we're going back into La Nina. So I think it's water, water everywhere. But then at the same time, some areas are going to get parched. Here's Lindsey Graham, and, and he's, he's, a, he's on the right. He's been entrenched forever. He's the perfect example of the system, uh, an employee of the system. You don't get a better example than Lindsey Graham. Well, you know, there's, there's others out there. You remember the Pelosi's and, you know, the Feinstein's and it goes on and on. Chuck Schumer. I mean, these, these are entrenched politicians that in my opinion are just be, they're so corrupted. It's just like, how do you, how, I can't even stand listening to a single word from them. And again, he's coming from South Carolina, talking about the floods in U.S. Yeah, we got to send more money to Israel. Yeah, otherwise, Iran's going to invade American soil like that would ever happen. But with Russia and China and like 20 other nations, North Korea, etc. Yeah, it, it's being pushed to, to that. But at the same time, this is just incredible what we're watching and all they do is say the same thing. You know, they're, they're money laundering and they're get rich quick schemes, which is, uh, you know, utilizing that mil military industrial complex, as well as, you know, again, the medical industry to make so much profits for these. Uh, I, you know, I want to throw a lot of adjectives in there, but I'm going to avoid it. When the people in North Carolina had to listen to this, that's a scary sound a scary sound and and so many people didn't make it through mm -mm. no they didn't and uh there's still so much going on and there's a lot there's a lot that's being said as far as land grabs, legalities, uh, making the situation impossible for people to to return. There's a lot of uh, back and forth going on about uh, people saying, you know, the, the plans are is to just plow, you know, take bulldozers to the land and uh, just bulldoze everything, er everything, thing, you know, humans pets animal whatever anything just bulldoze it right into the land and build on top of it now i have not been able to vet this information but it it is coming out and just because i i can't vet it you know doesn't mean that this isn't true because we're looking at how horrible this is and, and it's like you have to ask yourself the possibility well would the controllers do something like this and that's what i'm you know allowing myself this information to come out because yes the controllers would absolutely do something like that and there's a, there's a lot more to it um you know all the the permits um everything the mining it, it's all 
just so disgusting and it is so the system and I don't see anywhere or anyhow the the military is helping us even with this port strike I, I don't see how things are getting any better we're we're losing our rights left and right not gaining them I mean they're carrying on with these plans with AI cell cities 10 minute cities we're not gaining anything, even with these port strikes and whatever people are talking about with the military. You, we have to look and see what's actually happening, not hope that s something else happens. We can't base our reality on that. We have to look and see and, and stand firmly with what we have so we know what to do for ourselves. No one's going to come rescue us. No, and... You know, this is uh, CEO lawyer saying, wow, the U.S. government's so generous, 750 to family members affected by Hurricane Helene, $45 billion this year alone to Israel. Um, uh, now, Israel has about 10 million people in it. It says for 6 million Israelis, there's a lot of people in Israel that are um, not necessarily Israelis as well, but, you know, 7,500 each, 10 times as much just one year again um yeah no uh, there's no way you can paint that picture in a positive light for the average american person um how could you you know it, it's such a, a scam it's such a asset grab it's again just like maui it's the same paradigm and same program and of course they're ignoring it you know this the only way you're going to really affect change is it's not by you know switching one puppet for another it's it's the whole system has to go down the toilet so yeah we we need to flush this entire system away and of course that includes things like the un uh because the un while it would be wonderful to unite nations it no this is just a control system for for those that have the money and the power wipe out the monetary system which they are going to do and then they're going to replace it with another system supposedly uh gold backed um just like bricks gold backed currency that might have some real value that this is just exchanging one of theirs for another one of theirs uh we need to break it down farther into a into a manner where they cannot profit from this type of thing it's when you look at our system it's set up so that it's parasitic it's completely parasitic the whole concept of taxation is parasitic and then taxation on top of taxation they talk about things like you know 60 percent taxes for the ultra rich the reality is the ultra rich don't pay taxes they really don't they they have all the loopholes when you look at tax law and that why is it so complicated it's so that the average person could not possibly understand it you have to you know dedicate a large portion of your life to understanding the tax code when it doesn't need to be that way that just shows how how corrupt it is and how greedy it is it, it's again in some ways it's like the medical system speaking a dead language so that the average person won't understand it we're you know folliculitis you have folliculitis oh my god is it bad doc well it, it basically it's an ingrown hair but you know if they said well you have an ingrown hair you might not be thinking that that pimple is is something uh, uh it's not a tumor is it no i mean again they confuse so they could use it to their advantage this is simply what they do everything is complicated so that you have to be in the club to you know bypass the system it's so corrupt there's no salvation in this system so don't don't let them you know dangle another carrot out in front of you or hold that football while you're going to go kick that goal because they're going to pull it away again and again and again mm -hmm. I, you know it's something where we have to create our own little worlds we have to work with each other we have to circulate whatever dollars we have should somehow some way be circulating through family if you have family members 
that have talent and can do things like farm, you know, do whatever you can to give them money for food instead of taking it to a large chain grocery store. I think if we were to scale down things uh, to a very, very high degree where we're seriously working with each other over time, and I don't think it would take very long. I mean, if we were really serious, really serious, it wouldn't take long for us to regain our power. Yeah, you know, we were watching a video where a guy was um, saying all this terminology and everything that was just being used to con confuse the average person and, you know, get you thinking, well, this guy seems to know what's going on. He's speaking all these terms that I don't understand exactly what he's saying. And what is he getting to? Well, he's getting to the point that the Republic is going to be restored and you know we're going to go back to the way the founding fathers want us to do wanted us to do things uh yeah no i don't buy it i just don't buy it you know i i just don't feel it it doesn't feel right it feels like another diversion because what are they going to do well they're pointing out how bad things are and how corrupt it is but they're going to get they already have their other solution in place and you know it involves obviously uh some key characters that are pointing out the current corruption in this system it's all about the fact that if they get enough people to just simply go along and accept the next system which will apparently be much better than this system then they still got you because you're still in their system they're afraid of us really breaking free as you look at what's left of burnsville north carolina you know, the damage here is well beyond anything anybody could have reasonably expected. Do you know this storm was twice as big as Hurricane Katrina as far as expansive? It was so obviously ma you know, magnified. Entire towns wiped off the map, literally. Yeah, absolutely. And then FEMA's a disaster a total disaster and there's planes helicopters and everything just sitting in greenville they're not letting people go they're not letting people help people it's not that biden harris administration is massively failing they're doing what they were supposed to do which is basically uh, cause chaos and cre and create the conditions where the u.s is going to just self-implode and 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 break up into something uh, either break up into something different or allow the next phase to go into effect. Because, you know, the next phase is going to be all about the expansion of uh, that country in the Middle East that was founded in 1948 by the UN with the help of the Rothschilds and turning that into a much larger nation that's the center of power in the structure uh, that is to come. And so they are going to change. And like we've been saying, after all this time period, they're, they're trying to beat humanity into submission. And then they're going to start offering some carrots. And, and it's going to be a little bit more. It's going to obviously they're going to give us hope. They're going to be saying, hey, med beds and hey, uh, Nasara, Gesara, all these things that everybody's been hearing whispers about. They're going to start talking more and more openly about but it's going to come with a with a price with with the digital id with um you know again uh basic um universal basic income but you have to be part of the system you have to have of course that social credit score they'll put it in a good light but it's all about control and it's all about them still maintaining power again as long as they get you in the system they don't care if you convert to islam they don't care if you convert to christianity or even if you decide you're you're going to convert to judaism as long as you're st or if you go the other way they don't care if you become an atheist and and, and buy on to the works of mao because it's all them they don't care they just want people to be angry at each other that's that's the sole purpose of creating all of these belief systems and uh, you know th this is what i i think we have to keep pointing out over and over and over again 
And what we want to do is help people understand that the power is in your hands. But really, that's just not a popular thing. People people want to think that there's an entity that is going to come in and make the right decisions and do the right things and and give us our power back. But that's a mistake. And and I think this is this is like the unpopular thing. People do not want to hear it. But it's you. It is you making your decisions, keeping your power is what is going to help us. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to ever stray away from that because I, from what I have seen, just going by what I have seen, I haven't seen any of these people give us any of our power back. Bills keep going up, not down. Taxes keep going up, not down. And in fact, taxes are not even helping our fellow Americans any longer. It's just getting worse and worse and worse. It doesn't matter who stands at the podium. It absolutely does not matter. So we have to make these decisions for ourselves. Absolutely. As we look at people that gave their lives trying to help others, these these four men all lost their their lives there they were all first responders uh killed in the hurricane situation um so i mean is there no hope no no uh, quite the opposite you know the time is running out of their hourglass it's just a matter of we have to outlast them and we have to do it by pulling together and people are pulling together right now they really are pulling together and this is Catherine austin fitz which many of you are familiar with and she's talking about the land grab uh because obviously you know part of this is a land grab remember ultimately you're you're not going to own anything why would you even want to own anything they'll say well if you need new socks you know just put in an order a drone's going to drop them off to you and you'll pay for them forever. Uh, again, this is the way it is. Think of Rent-A-Center. That's the biggest scam that there is. Rent-A-Center, you end up paying you know, forever for that couch that falls apart. And this is what they want. They want to turn the entire world into one big Rent-A-Center because they're parasites. They are parasites. They're not even from here. This is the big the big reveal yes absolutely you know when we talk about that that part of it which i know the most people in this world are not ready to recognize that the alien invasion happened thousands of years ago and that we are uh, absolutely under the control of extraterrestrial beings and they are calling all the shots this is why again they treat the planet like they do this is why they have a natural disdain for us and all life on the planet they're not from here where they view us as nothing other than just a simple asset it's all an asset and you know this is part of it so it's a big confiscation of land we understand too i mean do you think it's a coincidence that those uh, (laughs) stories about the anunnaki it's all about mining and what are we talking about now? We're talking about lithium. We're talking about quartz. We're talking about cobalt. We're talking about, you know, obviously gold and things. It's still all about mining. When they want a particular area for what's under it, they're going to force the humans, because the humans are just their workers in their mind. They're just their slaves. Then the humans need to move. So, you know, again, they want to herd us into places where we could be easily managed get that digital id you know again they're going to give you money on a monthly basis you're going to get your whatever it is let's just take uh, 2100 they're going to give you your 2100 dollars each month and when you get to uh you know september 30th you know or, or what have you if you had 700 bucks still left over that month doesn't roll into your bank account gets wiped out they give you another 2100 october 1st you can never get ahead you can never you're you're basically an, a slave but we are slaves right now as long as we're we're using their system we're slaves and then you have all this alexa stuff which you know we we don't have alexa so we didn't verify it for ourselves but i've seen at least three different people uh, three different sources actually dozens of people are bringing this up and they're saying Alexa is saying Alexa, did North Carolina use 
cloud seeding during Hurricane Helene? Yes. North Carolina has been cloud seeding during Hurricane Helene. Scientists injected silver iodide into the hurricane wall to steer the hurricane in another direction. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, isn't that funny? And then... To reduce the amount that can be paid out as compensation, Hurricane Helene was then artificially created, just like cloud seeding used to control and manipulate the weather, to flood and devastate those places and crash the value of land there. As we can see. So, you know, everybody is talking about this. Stu Peter's talking about it too. You know, what can you say? I, I, biggest lithium deposits. It's always been about mining. It's it's always been about resources. There There's one channel that Cindy was showing me or I had shown her and she said, oh yeah, I followed that years ago. I, I don't even know what the channel is anymore. They had millions of views and it was all about um, ancient Anunnaki mining across the globe. We've seen this ourselves in, in the desert in the American Southwest that wasn't mined in our times, but it was mined way, way, way back. This has been going on a long time. And, you know, we know there's, there's gold mines in South Africa that are, are several hundred thousand years old. There's mines all over the world. This has been, uh, this, is, this is part of the real rele relevance here, what's going on. And we do see that they come back. They, they are coming back, but, you know, they have to th really thread a very, very uh, fine line because if they overstep their bounds, there are other ETs out there that hate what's going on the fact that you know they know humans are being used and most humans don't have a clue uh and so there's other ets out there that are are dying for us to wake up and get to the point where we yell in unison help i mean if we had 51 percent of the planet saying help rid us of these horrible uh entities then you know we would have all sorts of help here I mean, what, you know, what does that look like? All of us yelling for help. It's not about just saying, hey, I want help. It's about showing that you want help. And, and to me, that's where we can recycle our money within our groups, within small local businesses, uh, between ourselves. And, you know, showing that we want help, you know, doing better, eating, growing your own food. If you can't grow your own food, get the organic food. We have to show that we really, truly want help. It's not something that is going to come easy. And I'm sorry, again, a very unpopular information I have today, but it's true. I mean, we really have to step out and say, hey, I want this and not just say it, but show it. So, so, so very important. And from what I can see, yes, there, there are definitely different entities out there who are ready to help. Some will go out of their way to help us, but there's also the the others that are in 5d and above if 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 there is a karmic um divide and and there there's the controllers are stepping beyond their karmic bounds at that point they can step in and they can do something so we are kind of waiting and seeing because it does feel like yeah the controllers have overstepped but what is what is going to be our reaction how are we going to show that we no longer want this behavior anymore what are we going to do for ourselves to keep that the money this energy that we call money how are we going to steer it what are we going to do you know i think we need to be very careful where we spend every single dollar Yes, absolutely. So, you know, is there changing timelines? There's always changing timelines. Uh, again, it's about consciousness. So aware of what they are doing. Uh, yeah, you definitely need to be aware. You know, if you didn't realize that there was going to be this storm and this storm hits you. Oh my gosh, that's the worst case scenario, having no inkling at all. Uh, at the same time, I don't think we need to uh, depend on the system. I think that's the last thing. So if we're waiting for the system to bail us out and save us from the system, that doesn't really make any sense. 
we have to do what so many people are doing. They, and again, the homesteaders, that's a great homesteading area. These people are uh, making a difference and, and, and they are um, working towards that self-sufficiency when we were looking at So the Land this morning, the Howlers and Justin Rhodes. And, and you recognize they're, they're, for the most part, these people are eating uh, and using stuff that they are growing. And in some cases, they have more than they could ever use. So then that leads to barter and trade. Um, you know, again, hey, you know, trade you whatever, uh, five dozen eggs or a dozen eggs every, every two days uh, for, you know, et cetera. And this is what, what we have to work to. They can't tax you on trade. They want to, and I think there are laws in place to, to, to tax you on trade. It's this money system that is, is, is the thing. It's like Jenga. You pull out the money system, system, the whole thing collapses. The whole thing collapses, and they are going to collapse this money system, but they have another one already in place. And here you have people finding a dog 20 feet up a tree. This is over in Tennessee. Again, Tennessee was also hard hit. Uh, so many areas hard hit. Absolutely. People, uh, it is bringing the best out in many people. And you're seeing many people just doing whatever they can for others. And that's a beautiful thing. As they keep attacking humanity as a whole, you're going to find more and more people are, are going to band together tighter and tighter. And that's exactly what we need. You know, so many of you that listen to us on a regular basis, you are definitely activated and your energy and your prayer truly, truly, truly make a difference. And the one thing I've been keeping my ear out for is what can we really do? I mean, what can we really tangibly do? Yes, absolutely. Energy is tangible. Calling on guides and angels is tangible, but it's not allowed to be shown in the 3D for our human experience. But connecting with your neighbors, making those connections, making connections with other people so so that other people know how deep and yucky this is. I mean, communication, communication with people that you're close to, neighbors, you know, those who have seen this and are just sort of kind of in shock. You know, right now is our time. You, you strike when the iron is hot. People are upset. People, some people are at their best. Some people are at their worst. And I, I think this is a good opportunity when we talk about changing timelines. And I do feel there is something here. Absolutely. Everyone can feel it. It's, we're the ones who have to make that change. Our consciousness changes that timeline. So we do whatever we can do. We put out that energy, however that looks to you, to show that we're not going to tolerate this. This is not okay. No, absolutely. And this Bigfoot uh, photo is making the rounds. Uh, this was supposedly in Oklahoma. Um, I don't know. Could be a mask. You know, it, it kind of looks a little, a little bit on the cheesy side. I actually saw one that looked a lot better um, earlier today, but we couldn't get any info on it at all. Um, so, you know, the interesting thing is, though, we do have a dimensional merge going. When, when you talk about what we call Bigfoot, there's several different subspecies. And some of these were tinkering by, again, the Anunnaki uh, creating a worker race from, again, utilizing some of their own DNA. And from what we get, something similar to or an actual gorilla um, in order to, to create a, a type of worker being, which didn't work out so well. Uh, and they've done this so many times. Again, our souls are eternal, so they, they, don't, they don't create souls. No, they, they're not at that level. Yes, there's only one source of which, you know, the souls um, that you see inhabiting these bodies come from that one source, and we are fractals uh, of that source. But, you know, the bodies, yes, there's been a lot of genetic manipulation going on here. And if you really look closely, you'll see it is all about genetic man manipulation. And you'll see that the, uh, the world system and, again, the abduction phenomenon 
and the mining, it's all connected. It, it's all totally connected. We, we are also all connected, and we should treat each other, you know, with a heart of gold every chance you get. Every chance you get to touch someone's life, do it with the highest vibration possible. And if we all cloak ourselves with this very high vibrational uh, energy, and whatever we do, we do it to the best of our ability, yes, we can absolutely make huge changes in a very, very, very short amount of time. But whatever you do, don't give up. Keep going. I mean, make it normal to talk to your friends and family about getting 100 acres and turning it into a ranch. It should be normal conversation at this point. As always, guys, thanks for your support. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.